Well, I'm RFX Mars, a uh, soy boy working for Guardian UK, a soy boy vegetarian, uh, sitting there telling us how to eat. His name is George Mambiat, seen there. Will a human being survive this century and the next? Whether other life forms can live alongside us or anything depends on the way we eat. Cook. We can cut our consumption of everything, almost everything else, almost zero. We will still drive living systems to collapse unless we change our diets. Soy boy. All the evidence now points in one direction. Crucial shift is from animal to plant based diet. Paper published last week in Science. Reveals that while some kinds of meat and dairy production are more damaging than others, all of us are more harmful to the world than growing plant-based protein. It shows that animal farming takes up 83% of the world's agricultural land and delivers only 18% of our calories. It's not about calories, it's about protein. Plant-based diet cuts the use of land by 76%. It has the green greenhouse gases and all the pollution that are caused by food production. Unbelievable. Part of the reason is an extreme inefficiency of feeding livestock or gra on grain. Most of its nutritional value is lost in conversion from plant protein to animal protein. This reinforces my contention if you want to eat less soya, then you should eat soya. That makes no sense. 93% of the soya we concern, consume, which drives the destruction of forests, savannah and marshland is embedded in meat, dairy, eggs, and fish. Most of it is lost in conversion. When we eat it directly, much less of the crop is required to deliver the same amount of protein. So right there you have proof that this is a uh, deranged soy boy. More damaging still is free range meat and environmental impacts of converting grass to flesh. Paper remarks are immense under any production method practice today. This is because so much land is being required to produce every grass-fed steak or chop. So roughly twice as much land is used for grazing worldwide as for crop production. It produces just 1.2% of the protein we eat. While much of this pasture land cannot be used to grow, grow crops, it can be used for rewilding along many rich ecosystems destroyed by livestock farming to recover, absorbing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, which it wouldn't, uh, protecting watersheds and holding six great extinction in its tracks. This is a real nutcase. Whenever I raise the cru crucial issue of yield per Hectari, I received the barrage of vituperation and abuse. I'm not having a go at farmers, I'm just pointing out figures don't add up. You neither feed the world's growing population nor protect its living systems through animal farming. Meat and dairy are extravagance we can no longer afford. Get bent. So, I looked this soy boy up and he is a big time leftist. He wants to control everything. He wants to control what's in the refrigerator. He wants to control this. He wants to control that. He wants to uh, eliminate our ability to heat our homes. So on and so forth. Classic hardcore leftist. 
And by the way, despite his claims, I don't think he grew up on a pig farm. I took a look at where he uh, lived in, his, in a village. He claims he grew up on a pig farm, whereas I wasn't there. Mr. Soyboy, uh, George Mondi Mombiot, or Mombio as they call you, you can get bent. I suggest that you go commit an unnatural carnal act with yourself. I'm artifacts of Mars. I'm gonna have burgers. For lunch today. Maybe. We'll see. But I will have meat. Get bent, Mr. Bombiat. Thanks for watching.